Today we're going to look at going from, if we know what a percentage of the whole is, to, to getting the whole. And I'll show you an example and make it clear. If I know that 10% of my class are girls and I have four girls in my class, I want to get to how big my whole class is. So really what I'm knowing, at the, what I know is that the 10% is exactly the same as 4, right? So 10% of the class is the same as 4 people. And what I want to know is what my whole class is. Now, hopefully, you are happy with immediately the idea that what I'm trying to get to is I'm trying to get to the whole. I'm trying to get to 100%. If I talk about 100% of my class, that's what I mean. I'm talking about everybody in my class. So I want to get from knowing what 10% of my class is to being able to know what 100% of my class is. And again, I'm hoping you can see, well, to get from 10% to 100%, what do I have to do? I've got to multiply by 10. And if I know that that 10% was just four kids. To get to the 100%, what I have to do again here is multiply by 10. And so I will get that my 100%, my whole class, is 40 kids. Let's look at this picture um, and it should help also make it clear how we worked that out previously. So I hope it's immediately obvious to you to say, look, if I take 10% and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them, it's going to be 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I put all 10 lots of 10% together, I get to 100%. And what we saw in the last one was we were told originally that 10% of my class were girls and so 10% was just going to be four people. So for every little group of 10% of the class, there are four people. In other words, each little group of 10% is four people. And so if I want to get to my whole class, it is 10 lots of 4, which gives me 40. Let's look at another example. If I know that 12 of my computers are broken, and that's 20% of my computers, I want to know how many computers I have. All right. So what I know is that 20% of my computers is 12 computers. What do I want? I want to know what 100% of my computers is, right? I want to know the total computers I have. So I need to go to 100%. That's the total. Well, here I just need a little bit of thinking. How do I get from 20% to 100%? I have to multiply by 5. So, each little group of 12 computers represents 20%, and I'm going to have five of those groups, so I have to multiply by five, and that'll give me my total computers in the room, which is 60. 12 out of 60 is 20%. Let's look at another example. In a village, 30% of the houses do not have electricity, and 100 50 houses don't have electricity. How many houses are there in the village? Well, what we've got is then that 30% don't have electricity and 30% then is 150. And we want to get to what 100% is. And whatever we do then to get to 100%, we must do that to the 150 so we can see what the total is. Now, the problem here is it's not so easy to see what to do, what to multiply 30 by to get to 100. So we've got 
30 and we want to multiply it by something and get out the answer of 100. And the big question is, what is this something going to be that we have to multiply our 30 by so that we can get to 100? Well, have a look here. I know that 30 is just 30 over 1. And I know that what I want to do is get to the answer of 100. So what I can do is say, well, look, let me multiply it by 100, because then I'm pretty sure I'm going to get that 100 out. And if I divide by 30, can you see I'm going to get that answer of 100? Because the 30 and the 30 will cancel, and then I will just have 100 over 1, which is a 100. So... If I want to multiply 30 by something to get to the answer of 100, I need to multiply by 100 over 30. So I multiply this by 100 over 30. So I must multiply this by 100 over 30. So I'm going to say what's 150 times by 100 over 30. Well, 30 goes into 30 once and into 150 five times. And 5 times by 100 is going to be equal to 500. 1 times 1 at the bottom is 1. So this is 500 over 1, which is 500. And so the total number of houses in my village are 500. So what we just saw there allows us to do it with any percentage. Let's, for example, say that we know that 20% um, of something is 5. And we want to know what the actual number is, right? Well, 20% is the same as 5. We want to get to... 100%. So we need to know what to multiply by. Well, we saw originally, right, we can, I'm pretty sure you can see 20% to get to 100%, you've got to multiply by 5. But if you couldn't see that, you could use exactly what we just did with a 30, right? To turn a 20 into a 100, if you just multiply by 100 and divide by 20, that's what you'll need to get there. So to turn 20% into 100, you multiply by 100 and divide by 20. And so you need to take that 5 and do exactly the same to it. So 5 multiplied by 100 over 20. Well, can you see 100 over 20, the Divide top and bottom by 10. 10 over 2 is 5. And 5 times 5 is 25. So if 20% of the number is 5, 100% of the number will be 25. And to get there, we can just see if we go from 20% to 100%, what you need to do is divide by the 20 and multiply by the 100. Okay, I want you to try one now. 60% of a number is 120. What is the number? Open your homework books and do it there. Pause the video and try it now. 60% was 120. And you wanted to get to 100%. We use the same pattern each time. To go from 60 to 100, well, you had to multiply by 100 to get that 100 and divide by 60. So you need to do exactly the same to the 120. You need to multiply it by 100 and divide it by 60. Uh, you can cancel. Divide top and bottom by 10. Then you can say 6 divides into 12, all right, well, to 120, it goes 20 times. And then 20 multiplied by 10 is just 200 over 1, which is 200. So if 60% 
is equal to 120, then 100% will be equal to, oh, need the pen, 200. Let's try another more complicated one. If you paid 28 Rand in VAT, what was the bill without VAT? All right, we know VAT is 14%. So what we know is that 14% was the same as 28 Rand. And what we're wanting to get to is what 100% would be. Open your homework books and try this now. Pause the video. Okay. You should have quite easily seen, this is the same pattern as always, to get from 14 to 100, you need to multiply by 100 and divide by 14. So you need to do exactly the same to the 28. And so you will get 28 times 100 over 14. And 14 goes into 14 once and into 28 twice and 2 times 100 is 200 and so here that bill without the VAT was 200 Rand so in this case what you have is the VAT was 28 the 100 percent the bill was 200 and of course if you had to pay the bill together with the VAT it would be 200 and 28.